let's create a planner using AI tools. Actually, I'm kidding. You cannot create a planner using AI tools. I'm just gonna put it out there. And if someone wants to prove me wrong, I challenge you to tell me in the comments if there's an AI tool that can create a planner, because right now there is not. Should I make one? I'm not capable of it, but I think someone should make one. I think that would be great. So you can still do things though with AI tools. You can do a lot of brainstorming. You can come up with ideas. You can try to come up with colors, fonts, logos. All of that great stuff can be done with AI tools. And a lot of the creative process i don't know that it like makes it faster but a hundred percent having to put words in your document it does now i am literally the only person i know that creates planner templates with actual real words in them so that they're ready to sell as is everybody else a hundred percent the whole market creates planner templates with lorem ipsum and the reason they do lorem ipsum is because nobody wants to write actual words so Hey, can this AI tool or any of the AI tools help you to put actual words in your planner? Yes, they can. Can they just help you decide what type of planner to, to create? Yes, they can. So we're gonna actually do that today. So first of all, we wanna know what sells better, a planner with a purpose or a dated planner? According to this, it's given a very PC answer. Sometimes these answers too, I feel like I'm talking to a politician. It'll say it depends or they're both great. And you're like, well, that's, that's wonderful. Thank you for nothing. So that's our first clue. It's really up to us. Um, when you ask it things specifically like what's trending or what's, you know, what are things I should focus on, it always starts out with, hey, I don't actually have access to that data on your target market, but here's some things that we could do. So I've tried to be really specific. I said I wanted to create planner inserts for stay-at-home moms and to help them organize their life, and I asked for the top 10. So we got dailies, meal pay planners, cleaning schedules, budgeting pages, self-care, goal setting, homeschooling, family organizer, travel planning, memory keeping pages. I actually think this is a pretty good list, quite honestly. Um, but if we go over here to the top, and once again, I've asked what are the most profitable printables to sell on Etsy? Because maybe I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna focus all my efforts on the ones that are best selling. And again, it's told me I have no idea what's trending or what's selling. So you'd probably still need a tool like, um, what are the, the different Etsy tools that tell you what's trending? But anyways, wall art, planner inserts, party decorations, stickers, and digital papers. Uh, so I also asked it, what are the demographics of my ideal customer who's interested in buying a digital planner so that maybe I can target them? So again, it's told me it doesn't know, but it's saying young adults, professionals, students, creative professionals, eco-conscious individuals. That's a lot of people. Um, over here, I actually completely disagree with this one. Name the top 10 online platforms to sell digital planners. Etsy, I do agree with. The rest of these aren't platforms, they're just tools. Gumroad, Shopify, no one's going to come there. You have to send traffic to them to already have a, cre a captive audience. Creative Market, possibly. Amazon, definitely not for digital planners. Um, again, selfie is something that you have to build yourself. Teachers pay teachers. is an online marketplace specifically designed for teachers to buy and sell educational resources, including digital planners. Now that is new. I actually did not know that. So that was kind of useful. Send Owl, PayHip, again, these are platforms that you, it's simply just a payment platform, just like Thrivecart, so it's totally useless. Um, TPT Digital Activities is a new digital platform created by Teachers Pay Teachers. So again, this is basically the same uh, thing as number seven. So I think this is probably the, not something I'm going to look into if I'm already looking into the Teachers Pay Teachers. but. That was one useful bit of information. So let's say I'm going to design it. So what's the best selling cover color for dated planners? So they're telling me that it could be black, navy blue, pastel, neutral, and bright colors. That kind of covers everything. So I'm still maybe a little confused on which covers to focus for. And I've said, what are the best covers for uh, planner covers? And it's given me some generic answers, psychology of color, brand colors, complementary colors, seasonal colors, um, keep it simple. So again, kind of general answers. And then over here, I've asked, what are some planner ideas that have been popular in the past? So we have daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. So just like I always said, dated planners. Um, and then we have goal planners, fitness planners, budget, travel, and wedding. Oh, and parenting planners. Um, so this is like pretty much, I think, as I said before, it just helps you get some ideas. Now, 
if you go into Jasper, because let's say I want you to help me design my planner. As I've said, nobody can help you design your planner. So Jasper Art, I've asked it to create a 2024 dated planner with bright pink and green colors. I don't know what you think. I'm pretty, like I always say, the images that it creates are pretty hideous, right? This, this is actually correct though. These are technically planners that are bright pink and bright green. Um, nothing that I would ever like or ever want or even want to use as mock-ups. Same thing with uh, when you go into Canva. So we got this green one, we got this pink one over here. We have this light pink and green one. And we have this green one. So this one's interesting. It kind of looks like a very skinny one. So just it shows a different shape. Um, same thing here. They have words. Words that are pretty illegible, quite honestly. I don't think we can read any of the words that are on this particular, where was it? It's the bottom one. It's just kind of like mumbo jumbo. It's kind of like when I ever I ask this to create people. So like if I say um, women at a cafe, using a planner and drinking a latte. So that's the same thing. So at first glance, these look pretty good, but when you look a little closer, there's something a little weird with her nose, her eyes, uh, same thing with this one. Um, her teeth just kind of look like they're one unit. <laughs> her eyes maybe look a little weird um, over here. Same thing on this one. Um, it looks okay from far away, but close up, it just looks a little scary. And that last one, same thing, looks great far away, close up, it just looks a little scary. So that's kind of where I think all art is right now. Um, this is Canva. And then if we go into Tome, because it does create presentations for you, I asked it to create me, same thing, a 2024 planner, pink and green. And over here, it's instead made, it's a PowerPoint presentation. Um, so it technically has some pink and green, like bright colors over here. But instead of making a planner for me, it's just talk, talking about designing decorative elements, I guess basically how to create a planner, which is not what I asked it. And I'm gonna say this is possibly the scariest face of all. So, but again, I think that this is still, AI is still a really great tool to like get your memory, your not your memory, but get your brain going, like what kind, what do I wanna create? Possibly just reinforcing what you already know, which sometimes I feel like when you go to a therapist or you ask for business advice, sometimes you're just getting back what you kinda already felt like was right. And this way you don't have to pay for a coaching call. So I do think that ChatGPT and Jasper, some of the chat features are still really great uh, in terms of just the conversation chat versus the art, which still isn't there. And like I said, nobody else is really working at all on how to make, uh, how to generate planners using AI tools. So. Let's go ahead and say, what else can we use this for? So the only other thing I would say that you could probably use this for is to actually create your planner pages. So if I jump back here into chat, chat GPT, and let's say I wanna make a page on an introduction. Um, so create an introduction, introduction page for the first page of my 2024 dated weekly planner for women. And this way, I don't have to think of something from scratch. I can kind of take what's given to me just like you would an assistant and then kind of edit it from there. So I do think this does a good good job of giving some generic wording. And then you can kind of add your own style, change some things around for flair to make it your own. So this is what I would do as the next step is to make your planner. So let's say you're making a planner with a purpose and we're doing a planner about weddings. So we want to talk about picking a venue. Um, top 10 methods for choosing a wedding venue. And then this could be a listicle that you have a page on and you already have your content. Like I said, lorem ipsum, those days are gone. There's really no excuse to put lorem ipsum in any templates going forward, no matter if it's an ebook or if it's a planner or a journal or anything else. 
when ChatGPT will not only do it for you, it does it pretty well and it's free. So that's a wrap on how I would utilize AI to help build a planner. And of course, I am always on the lookout for someone who is going to build an AI tool that will just make a planner for you. I know, wouldn't that be magical? Until then, let's just use the tools we have to get going and start creating something. Mm -hmm.